Hey guys, it's Danny, and Mother's Day is coming up this weekend, so I wanted to make sure that you all had a fun, simple, healthy, delicious recipe that you could either add to a beautiful brunch menu or enjoy all on its own with a cup of coffee. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my gluten-free, clean and delicious Chunky Monkey Muffins. So I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna start by coating a 12 cup muffin tin with a little bit of cooking spray so that once we bake the muffins, nothing sticks. Other than that, all of our ingredients are gonna go right into a blender, and you don't really need any special blender to do this. Any blender should be able to get the job done. So into my blender goes two medium-sized bananas, and the browner the better, because the browner they get, the sweeter they get, and the yummier the muffins are going to be. Then I have one cup of all-natural peanut butter, and remember guys, when you're shopping for your peanut butter, the only ingredient you wanna see on that ingredient list is peanuts, and perhaps salt, but that's it, nothing else. Two eggs, two tablespoons of coconut flour, which is naturally grain and gluten-free, has a little more fiber and protein than your traditional wheat flours, a quarter cup of coconut sugar, a quarter cup of almond milk or any type of milk you like to use, any of them will work, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just gonna pop my lid on and blend this up. Now you may need to stop it and scrape the sides down a couple of times, but that's fine. Just do it until it all gets going and you've got a nice creamy, thick muffin batter. Now, this is exactly what you want it to look like, guys. Thick, but still pourable. If for some reason it was too thick, just add a couple extra tablespoons of your milk until it's loose enough to pour as well. Then finally what I'm gonna do is add in a half a cup of chocolate chips. And I like using the mini chocolate chips for this recipe because then you get more little chips throughout your muffin. So add those in and then just use a spoon to stir them into the batter. You don't wanna blend them at this point because they're gonna get all chopped up and you're not gonna keep their chocolate chip integrity. Then we're just gonna divide the batter amongst the muffin cups. And your muffin cups are gonna be about three quarters of a way full. Then these are gonna go into my oven for 20, 25 minutes or until they are cooked through and set in the center. Now you're gonna see, as soon as you take them out of the oven, they're gonna be really big and fluffy, but as they start to cool, they'll flatten out a little bit. So just expect that, don't worry, they're still gonna be absolutely delicious. Then once they've cooled down, loosen them up around the sides and they should pop right out of the tin, just like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The texture is really light and the flavor is, well, you know, you've got the banana, the chocolate, and the peanut butter. I mean, really, need I say more? The perfect chunky monkey combination. You have got to make these for your mom this weekend. And if you are a mom yourself, like me, with little kids, make them the night before. This way you can look forward to the morning with a great cup of coffee and a muffin and you don't have to worry about doing any dishes. If you guys do try this recipe, do me a favor, take a picture and snap me on Instagram, on Facebook with clean and delicious so I can see the yumminess that you are whipping up in your very own kitchens. And guys, FYI, I am now on Snapchat, clean delicious. That's how you can find me, clean delicious. There's no and, okay? So come look for me over there and join me as well because I'm having a good old time on Snapchat. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to print my recipes, remember you can do that at cleananddelicious.com. I am Danny Spees and I'll see you back here soon with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Chocolate chip integrity.